Thanks for joining us for this summer edition of CPSB TV. I'm Shantanasia. And I'm Jacob. Summertime typically means a break from school, but some students are choosing to spend their days learning. These high school students are part of the Career and Technical Education Jumpstart Summers program, where they are earning course credit, industry credentials, and a thousand bucks. The classes include television production like us, where we're learning all aspects of film and TV production, like producing this newscast and even capturing footage around town for a Hurricane Laura documentary. It's been pretty fun. Plus, there's commercial art, auto, welding, electrical, culinary, computer service, and carpentry. I wanted to do this class because whenever I'm older, I want to do a hands-on job. I don't want to do a job like in an office or anything. So I thought this was a good opportunity to get started with that and start learning how to do it and see if I like this. Classes started June 7th and last until July 1st from 7.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. They are held here at College Street Vocational Center and at Sulphur High. There are also lots of summer exploration camps through the school system happening right now and in the coming weeks. These students are finding their inner star through fun and exciting games and improv camp. Improv is making something up with little to no prep and the acting results can be really funny. Students between grades 4 through 12 are able to attend this camp. I actually want to be a teacher, and I think I want to be an acting teacher because I just love acting so much. A lot of elementary kiddos are also getting on the action. This is a video from Style Camp hosted at Barb Elementary in Lake Charles. Students are learning through fun, hands-on projects that explore everyday objects in the world around us. When we checked in, they were making paper airplanes and having a blast. As a mother, I thought about what I'd want for my children. Um, and as a teacher, I thought about what I wanted for my own students, what would make them successful, um, introduce them to experiences that they could start thinking about as they get into careers or career age. And so I really wanted to look at things that um, I would want for my own child or for, for my students and get them ready for the world. Summer camps offered through CPSB are free and there are several left for the rest of the summer. You can go to cpsb.org to enroll. It's been 15 months since students with LaGrange High School's Performing Arts program were set to take the stage for sold out performances of the musical Frozen Junior. Then COVID and multiple natural disasters closed the curtains and created uncertainty that the show would never go on. Despite all the trials, the months and months of hard work and dedication is finally paying off. Reporter Blair Buller has inside look at the final practices before the performances that hold a much deeper meaning now. After nearly two years of prepping for productions of Frozen Junior, it is finally crunch time for these performers. Definitely with everything that came with COVID and the hurricanes and the ice storm, it's definitely been a journey, but I am so happy that we are here and we are finally pushing forward. Leslie Israel is playing the part of Elsa, a role that she unexpectedly became able to connect to. With Elsa, it taught me, let it go, let it go. Like it came into a realization, like you need to let the worries go, the past is in the past. So we're moving forward. Every student in this production has been affected by the devastation of the past year. Family losses to COVID, school shutdowns, hurricane damaged homes, and evacuations that uprooted them from home. A good portion of our house was taken out by a tree that got knocked over during the hurricane. And we were in Houston, Texas for like maybe about half a year. Despite those challenges, students like Jalen Williams clung to the LaGrange Performing Arts program because for him, it's opened a path to college and a dream career. I'll be going to the like, basic training for the Navy Reserves, and then after I get back in December, I'll be going to California to go to a college performing arts. To truly appreciate the tremendous efforts to make this show happen, you have to go back to where it was set to happen in March of 2020, in the LaGrange Auditorium, where storm damage decorations still hang today. I'll never forget when I opened the door and just seeing all of the devastation, everything we worked so hard for destroyed, it was really breathtaking. LaGrange Performing Arts Director Shelley Buller's commitment to seeing the show hit the stage is just as strong as the students. Whenever we went back into the classroom and were face to face, it was fall of last year. And so at that point, we realized we need to pick back up. We ended up having two full calendar years of teaching this material. So I'm sure that they truly do want to let it go. <laughs> While it has been a long road to get here, these students say it makes the final journey to the stage more meaningful. 
It's been hard to try to stay hopeful during these times whenever more um, roadblocks and challenges continue to get in your way. But now that I know it's so close, I'm really excited and really ready to like really give it my all. I think it would be worth to see see how hard we've been working over these past two years. If you can do it in a church, in a theater, whatever, Lagrange is going to bring it to you. Music and magic and happiness. <laughs> If there is a learning lesson that the cast and the students have learned from this, it is that the community will rally with you when it's time. Without churches like Trinity Baptist, United Christian Fellowship, and Eastwood Pentecostal, plus local venues in our community to help, this production would not be possible. This is where you can catch the performances June 25th and 26th. Reporting for CPSB TV, I'm Blair Bowler. There are five performance times to watch Frozen Jr. and all are at Trinity Baptist Church's North Venue on Country Club Road in Lake Charles. You can see the show Friday, June 25th at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 6 p.m. or Saturday, June 26th at 10 a.m. and or 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 and you can purchase them in advance. Next week, you can purchase tickets at Trinity North Venue between 11 and 6. Tickets can be purchased at the door, but only if available. Go to LaGrange Performing Arts page on Facebook for any additional information. If you're looking for a way to use your summer break for a great cause, there's a big way you can help. Samaritan's Purse Disaster Relief is looking for volunteers ages 14 and above to help repair hurricane and floods damaged homes in the area. You'll be trained through the organization in how to help clean up homes and help those in the most need. We talked to one of the group's volunteers to see how to connect. We are in need of volunteers to come out and serve the homeowners that have such great needs and are hurting in such great ways. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about how you can get involved, feel free to go to spvolunteer.org. Samaritan's Purse first deployed to Lake Charles right after Hurricane Laura last August. They served our area for seven months and came back after the May flood event. That's a wrap for this edition of CPSB TV. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to follow us on our social media sites. See, See you, you next time. time.